what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to your clothing guide, the Hoxton Trends. Right guys, in today's video what I'm going to do is a water resistant jacket wars test. Literally. So I've got a couple of jackets in, I've got a Canada Goose, I've got a Parajumper, Stone Island, and a CP company. What else have I got? I think that's it. Yeah. I've got two different types of Canada Goose with different materials as well and I've also got the Moncl uh, Moncler jacket. Now literally what I want to do is check the water resistance on these jackets, okay? Now there's a difference between waterproof, water resistance and water repellent. So I'm, I'm just checking how these jackets react to the water when you go outside. Now remember not a lot of jackets are waterproof. Um, to have a waterproof jacket they're usually quite thin. Um, waterproof literally means no water can penetrate the jacket so you're going to find that the majority of jackets are just not waterproof but lots of jackets are water repellent or water resistant okay so literally I thought it would be a good idea to do a quick test with my little water scooter, <laughs> water scooter with my little water shooter and test these jackets to see how they react to the water and show you guys the results. Guys, if you're liking this video, make sure to go ahead and drop a subscribe, drop a like, drop a follow, all the good stuff. Make sure to follow us on our Instagram, The Hoxton Trend, my personal Instagram, Hoxton Travels. Don't forget to follow our Facebook group as well. We're on, we're on like, I think 9.4 thousand members. So we're growing super fast. You can buy, sell, connect on there, all that type of crazy stuff. And don't forget to follow our website, thehoxontrend.com, where our website can show you lots of different legitimate retailers from official stockists. You can also find mad deals on there and the latest releases and collections from different brands and designs. It's a really cool place. You can basically shop on like 70 plus official retailers all in one place, okay? So listen, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. Let me show you exactly what these jackets are saying and how they're gonna react to the water resistance, okay? Two seconds. Right, so literally, this is the David TC Parker jacket. Now this one's got, a, this uses the David TC material, which has got an anti-drop finish. So it's meant to be water resistant, okay? So this one is actually meant to handle a lot more water. It's not waterproof, but it should be able to hand, handle a lot more water. So on a rainy day, this should actually do you pretty well, okay? So I'm gonna test it real quick. I've got my little water squirter, water squirter? I've got my little water squirter right here. So I'm gonna spray this on and see how this reacts. Let's check it out. So if I can give you a bit more of a close up so you can see. Now, can you see the water is just staying on there? It's just literally, if I do that, it will just run off. So that's the water resistance. So I'll spray a bit more. Look at that. So it's literally just washing off. Now, if I get the cloth and dry that, look at that, more or less gone. So that's really good. That's a really good water resistance right there. Magic like it never happened. So that's the Stone Island David TC, guys. You get a certain amount of rain and that will just wash off. I mean, it should come off the jacket. Obviously, you're gonna be out in the rain for a lot longer, so you're gonna get quite a lot of rain. You might get more rain sit within the fabric and just kind of sit on there and soak just a tiny bit. But overall, when you get home and leave this jacket to dry, it will just be absolutely fine. It's not gonna soak into the fabric, so it's not gonna be too bad. Right, so the next jacket I've got is a para jumpers, which is an absolutely wicked jacket, this one. Um, it's very well made, very durable. I've actually done a video with this jacket before, I think it was in a monthly designer collection, but it's an absolutely cool, insane jacket. But I think it's gonna soak a little bit. So let's just check it out and see how that reacts. Oh, no, no, look, the water's sitting. Whoop, it's sitting and it just falls off. So yes, this is water resistant. You can see the water just sitting on there. And if I brush that off, yep, wicked. Look at that. And if I get my little dryer here. Good as new, good as new. Look at that, absolutely fine. Power Jumpers uses quite a lot of um, water resistance within their jackets. They're like an outdoor specialist jacket. They're dedicated to the rescue team over in Alaska. So they've got a lot of like safety parts of the jacket and lots of pockets. So they're meant to be like super durable. So um, yeah, they are water resistant. So that's really good to see. So you saw how that worked. The, the water literally just kind of sat on the, on the top of the jacket and it just kind of built up. And if you just kind of flicked it over, it would just, it would just gone down and wiped it down it's not wet at all so that's really good to see but that's the para jumpers so let's go ahead and check out the Canada Goose jackets one with the Arctic Tech technology and one with a normal polyamide 
materials. Let's check that out and see what that's saying, yeah? This is the Canada Goose Silver Fawn. Wednesday, I'm going to be doing a video on a whole bunch of Canada Goose jackets, which are going to be 40% off from Designer Pop-Up. This one is 1,025 and it's gone down to, you can barely see it there because of the light, but it's gone down to six. 50. So stay tuned for that video. I'm going to do a, a, like an ultimate jacket video review to show you. Right, so the material already is looking like it's going to be water resistant. So let's check it out. Right, test time. Look at that. Oh wow. If I showed you that, it's literally just sitting on the jacket. Can you see the build up of the water? Look at that. Wow, it's just literally sitting on top of the jacket. So that is a high amount of water resistance right there. See that? Now if I wash that off, gone. Wow. Yeah, that's really good that is. Done. Look at that. Never even think there was anything on there. Now remember, even though it's water resistant, if it was a real torrential downpour, the jacket would eventually probably get soaked because there's just so much water, it will get soaked. But the good thing about these jackets is when you get home, hang them up, leave them to dry, give them a bit of a shake, maybe later on in the day, go a little bit extra, get the dryer and dry it down to make sure there's no water sitting on it. But the jacket should not be affected at all. At all, it should be absolutely fine. So that's, that's the really good thing about water resistant jackets, okay? Now the Canada Goose Sato is, is, is more, it should be more water resistant. Um, it's got like a, special technology on the top which just renders it water resistant so i'm gonna do the water test and see how that comes along right let's have a look now if you check this one I'm a, I'm a, it, it hasn't the water actually hasn't sat that well on the jacket to be honest with you um on the if you remember on the um Right, that has entered the jacket a little bit. I'm a bit surprised at that, to be honest with you. The silver form was actually a lot better, and even the Stone Island. I, I'm a bit surprised that hasn't worked a lot better than that, that is. So the water resistance on this is actually a bit lower. I thought it would be higher. I'm a little bit surprised at that, to be honest with you. The silver form actually done better than this. But in saying that, I know there's been times where I've been wearing this jacket. I've had like lots of rain. I've gone inside. Um, I've hung the jacket up. I've done the... I've done the dry test and that, look back to normal so I don't put any water on it but it, it wasn't as it wasn't as water resistant as I thought it was to be honest with you the silver form was actually a little bit better and so was the Stone Island David TC because I can literally see the bubbles where it's just turning into bubbles in the jacket where the water just can't go in but on this one it did penetrate a little bit but what I would say about this is that even though it penetrated a little bit um, it, it dries really quick and it doesn't affect your jacket at all. So what I would say is when you are out in the rain, you do get caught up. As soon as you get home, dry, sit, hang the jacket up to dry somewhere on a hanger and then in about half an hour to an hour, dry it down um, with, with, uh, with a dryer. Just dry it down with a dryer and that will just ensure to keep the jacket protected. Because what happens is the, the water sometimes is a little bit of salt in the water so that if you leave it hanging too long on a fabric like this sometimes you can get a little bit of fading in the jacket especially under the armpits over a period of time so i think it is important that you kind of dry the water dry it down get a little cloth like this dry dry the jacket down and try and get that get that water out of the jacket and then you should be absolutely fine right this jacket here is super mad warm this one this is a Montclair Let's see if i can remember this is a personal jacket but i know it doesn't do too well in the rain but it's, it's a sick jacket this one so it's got like a shirling hood uh, it's got like a double hood as you can see right there that's the shirling bit that's the double hood the sweet badge it's got some warm material on the outside and it's got some a nice down on the inside what i do know is when i wear this jacket it doesn't react too well to the water but let's check it out and see so that's the wall bit. So obviously with that wall bit already, we know that is not going to be water resistant. That is actually going to soak up the water. So that's that's the only thing when you have these mixed material jackets, it's going to soak it up. So that's not going to be great. But if I get the water here. Okay, so there's a tiny bit of water, resi water resistance, but you can see I'm spraying it and it's, it's just gone inside the jacket. It's literally, if I put my hand like that, it's just going to soak it up. So that's, that's the worst performing one out of the rest. In saying that, although it's soaked it up and I've dried it, it's not too bad. I uh, know if I go and get my dryer. It has gone back, it's, it's, it's gone back to it being nice and warm and dry, but 
what I do know is with a jacket like this, it's not it's not fully water resistant. You can even see there, it's already got a little watermark somewhere there. There you go, got a little watermark on there already. See? So that's how you know, you can see the watermark. That's 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 the water already getting inside the jacket, already getting into the material and setting in there and it's setting its little mark. And that happens quite a lot with Montclair. So that's my only gripe with Montclair jackets. Actually, let's not do that because I'm just gonna end up with loads of Montclair jackets that just have watermarks. I don't wanna do that. So I'm just thinking what other jackets I can show you. I know I've got a CP company. Right, so the next jacket I'm gonna show you is the CP company Parker. Now this one I know is water resistant. Yeah, because I remember I wore this once and it rained and it, it literally dealt with the rain so well. So let me show you exactly how that worked. Look at that. Can you see how it just, it kind of just turns into like little bubbles? There we go. See? See how it just runs off? Look at that. That's how you know when a jacket is proper water resistant. So that's really good. That's what you're gonna see. And look how much water is built up on that. That's when you know when it turns into those little bubbles that it's proper water resistant. And if I wipe that down, I cannot feel any water on that at all because it's all been soaked up by the cloth. And if I get my little dryer, you would never think anything ever happened. Amazing. Love that. So that's the CP company and the material of this is called the Nycra material. This is a lovely um, CP company Parker jacket. Really, really nice. Got the CP badge there. This retailed for like 850 and um, it's it's really nice. It's a really nice piece. Got a Membrana TC jacket here. Let's try that one. 3LTC. Now this has got a free layer, so this is going to be highly um, highly water resistant. This is going to deal. This is going to deal with the water very well. Let's have a look. See the build up of water there already, look, there you go. It's not going anywhere inside the jacket and it's literally just all falling off the jacket. So that's the Stone Island 3L TC. Give that a rundown. This, this uses like a three layer technology. So on the inside you can already see there's like a nice kind of like material on the inside which feels a little tight, like almost like rubberized but it uses a three layer technology, so there's three layers of fabric on that, all um, kind of like wedged together, so there's no way that water's gonna enter in the fabric. But what makes this not waterproof is that it's not gotta actually take the seams on the inside. I do actually have a water, have a water, I have a fully waterproof jacket somewhere. This one was sent to me by Proper Mag. Um, I think a lot of you guys will know, a lot of you old school cats will probably know more about Proper Mag. They are, they're like big in the, like the casual scene and stuff like that, but they partnered with a brand called Hagloss and they sent me this jacket and it's fully waterproof um, and it's an insane jacket and it's mad expensive as well and it's almost like a prototype. You, you, you probably can't get this from many places now, but it's, it's absolutely dope. That's the jacket right there, sick. This jacket is insane. This is a very insane jacket. I wore this when I went to Denmark and I, I absolutely loved it. And I've done a little photo shoot out in Copenhagen. I think the material was saying like it's stronger than steel or something like that. It's got some insane technology on it, that's all I know. But anyway, let's check it out. Right, see that? The water literally just runs off it, doesn't enter the jacket whatsoever. So that's 100% waterproof. Um, jacket, wipe that down, totally comes off. All the inside of the seams on the inside, they've all been taped. See that there? There you go. Taped seams on the inside. So that means even when the water runs on the fabric of this jacket and it goes along the seam lines, it's still not gonna enter the jacket. So that's how you know that this jacket is 100% um, waterproof, okay? So guys, I think that's it. So guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. I hope you found it informative. That's the difference between waterproof, water resistant and water repellent. This coming Wednesday, I've got a mad video coming where I'm gonna show you where you can get 40% off Canada Goose. All brand new, all official stuff, all with the labels and everything. So make sure you stay tuned for that video. If you're liking videos like this, make sure you get this video to at least what? 300 likes, 300 likes guys will really be appreciated and I will make sure to do more videos like this one, okay? So listen, without further ado, I'm out of here. Catch you up soon. Peace out.